I deserve it. Thank you. I deserve it. I work hard. I'm working on my mental health. That's my mantra. I deserve it. I deserve it. I've been doing gratitude lists for a while. Does anyone do gratitude lists? Okay, a couple sad people here. <laughs> gratitude list, if you don't know, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a list where you write down what you're grateful for. Um, I was looking back at an old one that I wrote, and you know, like you never start a gratitude list when you're on top of the world. <laughs> It's not like you just got the promotion, you're in love. No, you start a gratitude list when you're in the depths of hell. I look back at the first one I did, I just put, I'm grateful I have arms. <laughs> so I'm doing better than that today. Doing better than that. I have a lot of fears though. I got a lot of stuff I'm afraid. I'm afraid of becoming a loser. That's one of my biggest fears. <laughs> it's just that my parents are losers, so it runs in my family. <laughs> And we all become our parents. I don't want to be a loser. My mom, she's an alcoholic. My dad, his name is Larry. <laughs> That's it. That's his whole name. It's just Larry. That's embarrassing. It's not short for Lawrence. There's no silent letters. Just Larry. Imagine, imagine the miracle of life, right? Having a baby. Imagine that. What a beautiful experience. You have a baby, you look down at this beautiful, innocent child. The doctor's like, what do you want to name this precious, innocent baby boy? And you're like, yeah, Larry is fine. <laughs> that's child abuse. <laughs> it sets you up for failure. Try and imagine a 12-year-old Larry. <laughs> you're bullying that kid in your head. <laughs> you either can't picture it, or it's the lamest kid you've ever imagined in your life. That's my father. My dad, he sounds cool at first. This is the problem. He sounds kind of cool, kind of normal, but the more information I provide, the worse it gets. Like my dad, he loves smoking cigars. That's like a cool old guy thing to do. A lot of people smoke cigars. Nothing wrong with that. Does anyone here smoke cigars by chance? Okay, maybe it's not as normal as I thought. <laughs> I don't know. I think like some people smoke cigars on just special occasions, maybe once a month, maybe even once a week. My dad smokes at least five cigars a day. That's a loser amount of cigars. One cigar takes at least an hour to smoke. That means my dad is smoking at least five hours worth of cigars a day. He has a job. One cigar, eight inches long. My dad is smoking 40 inches of cigar. A day. My dad is smoking the length of a modest couch in cigar. <laughs> I FaceTime my dad. It was 10 in the morning. He picked up the FaceTime from his jacuzzi. That sounds cool. My dad's got a jacuzzi. What about your dad? Fuck you. <laughs> Here's the problem. It's an above ground jacuzzi. Larry's don't deserve underground jacuzzis. They don't work hard enough. Also, 10 a.m. in the jacuzzi. A jacuzzi is a reward for a long day. 10 a.m., you've done it all, Larry. <laughs> Nothing else on the to-do list. My sisters, they're cool. I, I mean, I love my family, they're great, but my sisters, they used to bully me. You know, my sisters, like, I'm not gay, but my sisters do identify me as a lesbian. <laughs> my whole life, my sisters have thought I was gay, ever since I was little. I remember they came home from middle school, which is the bitchiest time in a woman's life. <laughs> I don't know if you've met a middle school girl, but they're pure evil. <laughs> the meanest girl in the world right now is in middle school. And not only are you mean in middle school, you're also dumb as shit. You're the dumbest you'll ever be in your life. So my sisters, they come home from middle school, mean, dumb. They look at me and they go, ew, Allie, you're a lesbian. Ew, Allie, you're a lesbian. And they had this look on their face like they had just gone down on a woman. <laughs> Ew, Allie. You're a lesbian. I was like, I'm seven. I'm seven years old. I have no idea what that is. I don't know what that means. That's a brand new word. No one taught me what a lesbian was growing up. I didn't have that kind of education. They teach it now, though, you hear about this? 
<laughs> Hear about this? Hear what they're doing in schools? They're putting dildos in kids' hands and they're forcing them to learn about gay sex? You hear about this? <laughs> You haven't heard about this? They're bringing drag queens to school. Everyone shows their butthole. They read books. You hear about this? <laughs> yeah, I didn't have that kind of education. <laughs> I wish I did. It would have been helpful. I would have learned a lot. Instead, I had to ask the two dumbest people I knew at the time, my sisters, what a lesbian was. I was like, what's a lesbian? Why am I a lesbian? Why am I a lesbian? And they go, well, you have really long sideburns. <laughs> Which I, I guess is a lesbian trait. Elvis being one of the most famous lesbians. <laughs> I was terrified, I was so scared. I didn't know what a lesbian was besides, besides the sideburns. I, I went to the shower immediately. I used my sister's razor. I shaved off my sideburns. Guess what? Never looked gayer in my life. <laughs> Have you ever seen a seven-year-old girl with a fade? <laughs> Sign me up for softball immediately. I'm ready to go. I've done a lot of dating. I've dated men and women. I tried it out. I was like, maybe my sisters are right. I tried it. Not for me, there's a lot of flaps down there. <laughs> so many flaps. It's hard dating, because you have to, you know, you have to choose photos for your online profile, and that's always tough, because you don't want to look too good in your online profile, because then they see you in real life, and they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Who? But then you don't want to be, be like too real, and then they're like, ugh, yeah. <laughs> It's hard, you know, because I'm, I'm like, I'm in between. Like, I, I know I'm not ugly, but I also know I'm not a hot, sexy model. Like, I like to think of myself as a food service 10. <laughs> <laughs> like, if, like, if you saw me working behind the counter at McDonald's, you'd stop and you'd stare. <laughs> you'd be like, who is this exotic? <laughs> Gorgeous woman. She has dreams outside of this place. I have to save her. But at the same time, if you saw me as a patron of that McDonald's, you'd be like, she seems pretty comfortable here. <laughs> this is a safe space for her. It's nice getting older though, I don't care as much, you know. Uh, like I remember being young and, and being so concerned about what guys thought of me and, and it's exhausting, you know. Like I remember being in middle school and I'd be doing Kegels all the time. <laughs> I'd be doing, if you don't know what Kegels are, it's like P90X for your pussy. <laughs> they don't, I don't think they work, I don't do them anymore. I don't do Kegels, because I've never had sex and then gotten a high five, like nice work down there. <laughs> Keep it up, pussy's getting swole. <laughs> Absolute gains. I'm just dry douching protein powder. <laughs> My little creatine coochie. <laughs> but I used to do Kegels before, before anything had even been inside of me, except for maybe a carrot out of exploration. <laughs> I was a curious child. But I was doing Kegels, because guys at school, they'd talk about, you know, like, tight pussies. And I, I was like, I have to have the tightest fucking pussy. I was doing so many Kegels, I was like, I don't even want a fucking hole. But I remember doing Kegels so much. And then the ultimate test, I remember the, the first time I got fingered, it was a big time in my life, the first time I got fingered, because I was like, let's see if these Kegels work. And it's an important time in a woman's life, I think, the first time you get fingered. I think it's very important, because it's like, it feels very mature. It's the next step after making out if you come from a good home. Um, and there's no consequences. You're not gonna get pregnant from a pinky. It's just for fun. And I remember the first few times, I would say the dumbest shit. I'd be like, how many fingers are in? <laughs> They'd be like, none. I'm like, ouch, ouch, too many. I would never do that now. I'm like, use your feet if you have to. I got 
gotta go. Bye. Thank you guys so much.